booktube TMI tag, which does not stand for the mortal instruments, it stands for too much information. I was tagged by Lauren over at Chapter Chatter, and the original is by Jeeks Books, so I will link both of those in the doobly doo doo. One, who's close out from a book do you like? Elizabeth Holland from the Lux series, I love Victorian era style clothing. Two, your book boyfriend slash fictional crush. Jon Snow from Game of Thrones. Three, ever loved a character but then started hating him? Maven Clore from Red Queen. Four, biggest slash longest book on your shelf. Les Mis, I bought the unabridged version because I had to read it for summer reading when I was moving to a new school and I didn't realize that they were all getting a 300 page version rather than the 1194 version. And then that's all notes about so you can understand the culture of the time. So I didn't realize that this video needed so many props. Five, heaviest book on your shelf is either Jane Austen or William Shakespeare. I, I literally used these as weights the other day. Books they help you work out. Six, do you have any book posters? I have the one that came inside the selection of the selection and one on multi-sides, and I have the one for the siren. I have a Gone with the Wind poster, except it's of the movie cover, so kind of. And then I have like three or four Twilight posters. And then I have a Game of Thrones one, but that's for the TV show, so I don't think that counts as well. Seven, do you have any book-inspired jewelry? So I have this little bracelet which has little eight-pointed stars on them, which are supposed to represent the North Star from the Selection series. A deer ring for I am not your deer from the Selection series. Uh -huh. So many Twilight buttons, all the Twilight buttons. I basically bought out Hot Topic. Alice's Cullen Crest choker situation. Bella's engagement ring. I bought that this summer when they were going on an out of sale business because I knew I needed to have one. Why? I don't know. And then I ordered this off of the DFTBA website and it's I go to seek a great perhaps from the Looking for Alaska. So it's the Francois Rabelais quote of his last words and I really liked that and it makes me feel like I'm traveling all the time. Eight, book OTP. Is Bedward a thing? Did we ever decide that it's Bella and Edward is Bedward or is it Team Edward, Team Jacob, or Alice and Jasper? Jalis? Alisper? Nine, favorite book series, The Selection by Kira Cass. Ten, favorite book to movie soundtrack, The Pride and Prejudice soundtrack, oh my goodness. Eleven, a book story you missed slash wish would continue. Harkin, I wanna know what happens in Harvest. And Caleb, are you ever gonna write that? Like, I really wonder about this on a daily basis. Please, please write it one day. Stop eating Taco Bell. 12, favorite standalone. Probably The Perks of Being a Wallflower by Stephen Chbosky. Ugh. I keep looking at my bookshelf hoping the answers are there and they're not. 13, how long have you been reading books? As long as I can remember. I remember going to kindergarten already knowing how to read. 14, which Hogwarts house are you in? I'm a Hufflepuff and proud. Why did I sing that? 15, quality you look for in a book. Excitement. 16, favorite book quote. Okay, I can't pick just one, but I'm gonna pick two that I really love, and those are We Were Stars, We Were Music, We Were Time from Kira Cass's The Siren, because I, my jaw just dropped. That's a line, that's a line to describe a kiss that just is astounding. And then Love is Beautiful Fear from The Elite, because that was my URL on Tumblr for a little while, and I really loved it. 17, favorite author. Probably comprehensively Hemingway. I love his style and how he's straight and to the point. 18, favorite book cover. The Sweet Far Thing by Libba Bray. I loved the symbolism of like the undressing and also getting down to the end of this trilogy, which was beautiful and so well done and so feel-inducing. 19, action or romance? Romance, I'm a sucker. I hate love, but I love reading romance books. 20, where do you go when a sad moment happens? I sit there and I'm in shock. I usually like gasp. Sometimes I'll pace my room while I try and sort through my feelings, but usually I just sit there and gasp and like have like a feeling of dread in my stomach and I keep reading to figure out how this is resolved. 21, how long do you need to finish a book? It depends. Like I've sometimes finished a book in like one day if it's like a new release and I need to read it before I get spoiled or sometimes it's like two to three days. 22, how long is your morning period? It depends. Like I remember after Breaking Dawn, I was a wreck. Like, I couldn't do anything for like two days. And 23, least favorite book. Um, I don't have that many least favorites. There's like characters I don't like, but I like the book overall. But one in recent history was The Girl in the Steel Corset by Katie Cross. And I hadn't read much steampunk and it didn't make very much sense. And then when I read the Infernal Devices, that was the steampunk that I've been desiring all this time. 24, turn on in a character, compassion. 25, turn off in a character, selfishness. 26, the reason I joined booktube, I wanted to film a review video of The Siren because I needed to talk about it with everybody. And then from there, I wanted to read more and I feel like if I have to film videos weekly, then that'll keep me motivated to continue reading. 27, name a scary book. Her Fearful Symmetry by Audrey Niffinger. She's the same one that wrote The Time Traveler's Wife. This book is about ghosts and twins and cemeteries. And my college was like right across the street from a cemetery. It wasn't like 
horror scary, but it was like scary in your mind, like how everything plays out. 28, the last book that made you cry. Okay, so when I tell people that I don't cry over books, they think I'm not human. They think I don't have feelings where I do, but I don't cry because I can't accept that sadness. But the most I've ever cried during watching or reading something was I was watching The Impossible, which is about the tsunamis in Indonesia and the family that gets separated. So when the family's all trying to get back together, I was a crying, weeping mess. 39, last book you gave five stars, and that would be the last book I read, which was Throne of Glass by Sarah J. Mass. Okay, who made this such a long tag? Who? Oh, this is so long. 30, any favorite book titles? A Great and Terrible Beauty by Libba Bray because that just draws you in. You're like, what does that mean? And it's so poetic and beautiful. But also, The BFG by Roald Dahl because it sounds like you're saying something dirty, but you're not. 31, last book you read, Throne of Glass. 32, book you're currently reading, and that is The Wrath of the Dawn by Renee Adi. And it's on my ebook, and I'm not gonna pull it up because I have the questions, so I'm not gonna mess this up for that. 33, last book adaptation you watched, How to Train Your Dragon. And I did read the first book like nine, 10 years ago, and it was like very well illustrated and interesting, and I don't remember that much about it. I know it's a full series, and maybe I'll read it one day in my life. 34, a book character you've always wanted to talk to, Aslan from Chronicles of Narnia, because I feel like he just would have so much wisdom that I wouldn't understand, but one day I would, and I'd appreciate that I got the wisdom from him at one point in my life. 35, an author you've always wanted to talk to, like Lemony Snicket, as Lemony Snicket, with all of his isms and in-betweenness, all of that, I've always wanted to talk to him. I had to write a letter to an author in sixth grade. It was like to help us learn how to write a letter, but we only had to write it to an author, and I was like, Lemony Snicket, and everyone's like, yeah, Lemony Snicket's not real, like, I'm sorry, what? I'm sorry, hold, hold up, no, Lemony Snicket's a man. He's like, no, no, it's not really his name, that's a pen name. He's not a real man who, takes black and white photographs of himself. It was a very life-changing day. 36, favorite book snack? Any of the Luna bars? Luna bars are really good, so probably one of those because then I can eat that with the wrapper without getting it on the book. 37, a book world you would want to live in? The Last of the Really Great Wang Doodles by Julie Andrews because it's so fantastically written, kind of like Narnia meets Roald Dahl together in this world, and it's just so fun and clever and beautiful, and I think that there's like a ice cream bar on this boat and it's beautiful and I want to eat at that ice cream bar and have my slippers change every day or year, whatever it is that happens to the Wang Doodle. It's a really fun, cute book. 38, The World You'd Least Like to Live In. Probably The Phantom Toll Booth by Norman Jester because that book just gives me a headache. 39, The Last Time You Smelled a Book. 40, Weird Insults Used in Books. Probably anything in any John Green book because they're just so clever and not even just clever but outlandish that you couldn't think of them. 41. Favorite romance book. <gasps> what? If you don't know this about me by now, well then where have you been? Basically any of these work. 42. Do you write? Okay, here's my writing history. In fourth grade, I started the story about like these twins, Ethan and Brittany, and they had like magical powers that were being kidnapped or they had to go save their mom or something like that. And that only got like maybe 200 words on Word document. And then I did my Twilight fan fiction phase where I wrote a fan fiction and a half, which I think the first one was like maybe like 15 chapters and even then they were short. And then I tried fiction press and I was trying to write this story about like these twins. Something about twins just really intrigues me. One had dark hair and one had fair and they were princesses but they weren't allowed to live with their family, so they live at this like boarding school and with magic and they had to save the kingdom. I only wrote like a prologue, maybe. Now I've been taking lines from my journal that I've written about my personal life and turning them into longer stories, like maybe like 300 or 400 words, but nothing major. 43, favorite magical item. I really like Seven League Boots because that's so specific and we don't travel in leagues here in America. But I really like the humor around them when people like misstep and go too far, like in Two Princesses of Bamar by Gail Carson Levine or Hell's Moving Castle by Diana Wynne Jones. I haven't had my light on. All right, well, there's there's the light on. That's fun. 44, your Quidditch position. In the stands, I painted a banner and it's magical, and that's my position. 45, name a song you connect to, your, to a book. I had a friend who wrote an original song for John Green. It was really popular on Tumblr. It's called The Fall in Our Stars by Brooke Taylor. You probably can Google it still. And I really enjoyed that because she used lines from the book in to her song lyrics. 46, your favorite book-related pickup line. ISBN checking you out. 47, have you used it? Right now, is it working? Let me know. 48, your favorite book fandom. This selection, because that's what I'm actively a part of, but then always Harry Potter, because there's just so much Harry Potter. Like, everyone in the world is in the Harry Potter book fandom, it feels like it. 49, how many books do you own? 
more than I need. 50, who do you tag? I tagged May from Books Majors, the Cupcake Reader, and Abby from Abby Reads, and anyone else who sees this and wants to do a tag, because tags are the greatest and easiest, but also really hard, because every time I do a tag video, I forget every book I've ever read in my entire life. All right, well, that has been the BookTube TMI tag with various lighting stages and some nonsense in between, but I got it done. My name's Laura, this has been Bookies and Cookies. I post videos Sundays, Wednesdays, and sometimes Saturdays with book reviews on Thursdays, and I love each and every one of you, and I hope you never forget it. It was a crying, slobbery mess. I was in slobber. My name's Laura, this has been Bookies and Cookies. I post videos Mondays. No, I don't post videos on Mondays, that's a lie.